Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can do optic green decounting with Ultralytics YOLO 11 model. So this is the new model. We can either go in and use a pre-trained model or a custom fine-tuned one on our own data set. We can basically just run our optic detection model, optic tracking on top of it, and we can count the number of objects that we have in a specific region. This is very useful in a lot of computer vision applications and projects. Let's say that we have like a conveyor belt. We're basically just running objects that we want to count. Could be in a specific region. Could also be that we're doing some CCTV security camera monitoring where we have people walking around and we want to count them in specific regions. So let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. If we go inside our solutions tab, we have all our real world AI computer vision projects where you can use the YOLO models and also the new YOLO 11 model. So these are all some pretty cool solutions you can use out of the box if you go inside this objects counting in regions. We already have a video covering some details with the YOLO V8 model, but now we both have a faster and also more efficient model with the YOLO 11 one. So definitely check that one out and then we're just going to dive into it. First of all, you can scroll through the documentation, see what the advantages of in counting and so on, but it's pretty much just what I went over in the introduction. So first of all here, we need to install the required libraries. Make sure that you have the latest version of Autolytics installed as well, if you run into any problems with the YOLO 11 model. So first of all here, we basically just need to clone the GitHub repo. If we go inside the GitHub repo, we can actually go in and see the code base. So we have these examples. So I'm just going to open up a new Safari tab, there we go. And then we have these examples. So you can go in and take the source code. You can just pull it, clone it directly here from the GitHub repo. You can go in and use it. So if you go inside your V8 reading counter, you can just swap out the model. It works in the exact same way. There we go. We also have the guide in here and you can just directly run this Python script. You can open up the Python script and also go in and do modifications. If we just go inside of it, we can see that we basically just need to specify our polygon region. We can move that around once we're running this script as well, because we have this annotator. So these are all the different imports that we're going to use. We have our mouse callback, so we can move our regions around as well. We have our run function, which basically just takes the weights of our model. So we can swap that out with our own fine tune model or just use these models out of the box. We can just swap it out with 11. So YOLO 11 is pretty much just going to open up the video capture, do all the optic detection, optic tracking, and then counting within the specific regions. All this code here, you can modify it for your own needs and your own projects and applications. So that's pretty much it. Let's start with just cloning it here. Let me go inside my code editor. We have opened up this terminal here. Let's just start from a brand new Python script. Git clone, we're going to clone it into Ultralytics. You can also go in and pip install it, but right now we need our code. We're going to cd into this directory. There we go. If we just ls, we can see we have our readme file and we also have our yolov 8 region counter. If we scroll a bit further down, we can then go down and see, we can set the weights, we can set the source and so on. So let's go in and take this example. We can also specify the different classes and so on that we want to detect. If you're only interested in the Coco data set, if we, for example, only want to detect persons, different cards, trucks, and so on. We can also view the image, view the results, and so on. So if you just go inside of it, I have it inside of my whole directory here. So let's go inside Ultralytics. So we have our examples, we have our code. So this is the exact same code as I showed you inside the GitHub repository. There we go. We just open it up, make it a bit smaller so you guys can see what's going on. If we scroll a bit further down, we can then see we can swap out the model path and so on, but we can also do that from the command line arguments. We can view the image, we can save the image and so on. So we act like interest in that. I've just copy pasted a command in here. And instead of the model path here, we're just going to swap it out with YOLO 11 small.pt. And for the video here, we're basically just going to run a model or a video. So let's just call this Dubai.mp4. And for our weights, don't need these. So now we should pretty much be good to go. We can just run the script here. Let's also view the image view dash m. Let's now run the Python script here inside my content environment and it can't find this video. So let's maybe just go in and grab this video here. We just need the whole path because we're inside the yellow repository. So I'm just going to go back with the source and then we have this video with checkpoints basically just at a metro station or an airport where we want to count these people in the specific regions. There we go. We should be able to run it now. It's going to download the model automatically. If you're running into any errors, make sure that you have the latest version. It's going to open it up now here. So we have these different regions and we can count the people inside of it. 
So we see that we lose a lot of detections. We can move the boundary boxes or like the regions around with our mouse as well. So we can basically just have a region here. You can specify all the polygon zones inside the Python file if you want to do any modifications and so on. And right now we're just running object tracking. So it's just running on my CPU. We can see that we're pretty much not detecting all the people here could be because we're using a small model or basically just need to tune our parameters for our tracking algorithm. So we can also try out one of the other ones. So I have this Dubai video should be in the same repository. So we can just swap that out. It's basically just walking inside, but a CCTV camera where you do monitoring and so on is a better use case. So let's just try to run this one. There we go. Now we can see that we are the tracking and detecting all the persons that we want. One guy inside this, so it's basically just checking if the sender of the bounding box is within that region. So if we're just taking the mouse here, moving it around, we can see we have five guys inside of this one here, which is also correct. If we just try to track it here, we have three, two, because we are just looking at the sender of the bounding boxes and we can see we have these two guys inside. Can move it over here. We got three detections, now we got two. So this is pretty cool. This is very useful in a ton of different computer vision applications and projects. If you're using this in any industrial setting and so on, you will probably just have these regions fixed, but it's very nice. You can just run it, just clone the code here. You can do all the customization that you want to it for your specific project and use case. So thanks a lot for watching this video here. I hope you've learned a ton. Definitely go ahead and check it out. It's pretty cool that we can set all this up in just a few minutes. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.